Become the members on the run. at Aura.tv Alex now Jones and, and PrisonPlanet.tv. Vote with your dollars right now. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. We've got it. Dangerous mission is coming to you. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the info war. You've got it. You know, Jesse Ventura is, I was at his 60th birthday, so I guess he's 60-something now. Uh, looks like he's about 40, you know, body-wise. Me, I sat around for about 10 years and got out of shape, became a big, fat uh, hippopotamus. But I've been jogging and lifting weights and taking nascent iodine and getting the right vitamins uh, from InfoWarsLife.com. Everybody can see the fact that I've lost another 10 pounds. And all I've got is a little bit of fat on my belly, and I'm going to be like I was when I was 25 again. I am very, very close, and I couldn't do it without Dr. Group telling me that most iodines are not true nascent iodine and coming out with our own nascent, it turns blue, purple on paper, not black or red. It's, that's the color of the real iodine crystals. This stuff absolutely helps the glands produce all the normal hormones you need that are so suppressed from estrogen mimickers, you name it. It has done so much for my circulation, so much for my clarity. I was on Coast to Coast AM last night. I, was, I went to sleep at 3.30 in the morning. I did my own radio show Sunday. Uh, I've had three hours sleep, got up and worked out this morning, got in here. I mean, I just, I'm telling you folks, you've heard the rave reviews for our nascent iodine survival shield at InfoWarsLife.com. We've got the fluoride shield with five other ingredients with the nascent iodine to detox the fluoride, everything else. It's incredible. We've had this out, I don't know, three, four months. In fact, you guys bring me my, my iodine. Oh, here it is. 
bottles almost empty. I'm going to take some right now. And this also supports the broadcast and everything we do. Just take the challenge. Get a bottle of this. Talk to your, it doesn't taste like the horrible iodine. It tastes good because it's real iodine. Well, I think it tastes good. It tastes kind of like blood or something. But the point is, is that you'll, you'll, I, I've gotten addicted to it. And, and, and despite my super hard lifestyle, I mean, a total type A personality, I'm telling you, this is, we went out and did deep research. We've only got three, three things out in the last six months because I won't put crap out. I take more than recommended uh, uh, FDA allowance. Infowarslife.com. Talk to your physician. Take the recommended amount because you will detox in the first month. So talk to your healthcare provider. But we also have the super male vitality with, uh, what is it, eight of the key herbs known to not mimic t testosterone, but let your body release its own and block all the estrogen mimickers. That's what I've been doing. And the only problem is I'm even more crazed than usual. So, again, Infowarslife.com or 888-888. 253-3139, or simply go, again, to InfoWarsStore.com. That will take you there as well, and I want to thank you all for your support. Now, going back to former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura, who I just admire so much because he's a trailblazer like Ron Paul. He never has compromised. He's the real deal, and that's why the media tries to attack him and say, oh, he's not the real deal, because just like they do with Rand Paul and people, because he is the real deal. And I want to read this quote before we get into the drug war and the fact that Jesse Ventura wouldn't be censored on MSNBC and, you know, uh, turned down his top rated. He had the top rated show on there. Then they got rid of the other guy that had a top rated show, Donahue. And they got, they're getting rid of everybody. And, and remember, these are real people that these networks could win with, but they, they cannot allow the idea of legalizing freedom. But I want to read a famous quote about the man in the arena. And I want all of you to pledge to be men and women in the arena. This is by a former President at the time, he just been out of office in 1910. Teddy Roosevelt, it's the man in the arena. Citizenship in a republic. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, and comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, and who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. And Governor, I want your take on that quote and your philosophy on life. Then we're going to get into the fake drug war. Well, I, I agree totally with that. Uh, it's what you do in your life and how you conduct it, and you don't have to be a big national leader if you just live day to day and stay a vigilant citizen, uh, but focus on what's happening locally in your local school boards, what happens in your local town, and, and remain active, because those are the heroes that make the United States the great country it is, are the everyday citizens that take part in in the creation of this great country and keeping it running like it is. And, uh, Alex, we're just lucky that we were the people that seem to have a voice and can be heard, but we really need uh, the millions and millions out there to stand up and finally be counted because if they don't do that, we're going to lose our great country, and, and it's not going to be the country that you and I were born in. It's certainly not the country that I was born in. And uh, the way it's, the direction it's heading for me today, it's not the country that I want to die in. And I would like to get it back to being the country I would like to die in someday. Well, that's right. And you've said that if people get behind a national movement to have you run for president, if they get it lined up and show enough interest, then you'll do it. But you can't do everything. A guy two weeks ago ran into a burning house to get his Xbox. And that same week, a guy wouldn't run in his house to get his kids and I, and I think about people rioting and burning things and trumping over cars and attacking police in Seattle when the Seahawks won. You know, I wish people would show not that energy for rioting, but that same energy politically for freedom. What's your take on that, Governor? I agree. You know, people need to get more motivated. Let's remember something. Football is nothing more than entertainment. And that's the real problem with our country today. We have become an entertainment society now, where entertainment is the most important thing in our lives. And if they look at history, they'll find out that's exactly what happened to the Roman Empire, was they, they became enhanced with entertainment. Entertainment became the main focus. And, uh, you know, football's great, sports is terrific, and being entertained is a wonderful thing. 
thing. But if you break your day up, we need to get back concentrating on the real things in life. You know, you, 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 it used to be you concentrated on working an eight or ten hour day. Today, that's the sideline. What people focus on today is how do I entertain myself that other four to six hours when I'm not working and I'm not sleeping? And we need to make, take more pride in our work and more pride in being uh, involved in our communities, helping people out. You know, I often laugh because you hear, you hear stories about, you know, I'm an admitted atheist now, and uh, you hear stories about, well, atheists, they, can't, they don't have values. Yes, we do. And, and it's the value of every day treating your fellow man, the old golden rule. Treat people the way you would want to be treated. And go out there and get involved. Help people. There's nothing more gratifying in the world than helping someone. And you don't need money in which to do it. Well, and, you know, I respect the fact that we agree on about 95% of stuff. But I totally get the fact that the churches are so evil and so hypocritical and are a bunch of Pharisees. I don't blame people running the opposite direction from these institutions. And I know you're a moral person who genuinely cares about humanity uh, from a human perspective. And I admire that. And that's what it's all about. The people that shake their finger at each other and just want to infight over religion, uh, you know, are the hypocrites. And if they let a better example out there, you know, people wouldn't see them for the disgusting hypocrites they are. Now, shifting gears again, you mentioned the drug war. What a battle with all 14 states trying to decriminalize or legalize marijuana, Obama doing all the raids, uh, whatever happened to states' rights. Obama claimed he was going to decriminalize marijuana, another lie. Give us your take on what I cut you off about before the break. And then I want to tie it into this actor who had heroin laced with painkiller. I can't pronounce this. How do you say it? Fentanyl uh, takes toll on Pennsylvania, killing people. And they're also getting almost pure heroin out of Afghanistan. Tenfold increase on heroin going into Western Europe and the U.S. since the liberation of Afghanistan 12 years ago. Philip Seymour Hoffman was found dead in New York City with, with a needle in his arm. And I'm just, Mike Adams has a great article at naturalnews.com. It's also on infowars.com. Overdose death of Hoffman underscores urgent need to decriminalize and regulate recreational drugs. Northern Europe, five countries there have decriminalized heroin so you can get medical grade and controlled dosages and almost no overdoses are happening now. And drug use has gone down by 50 percent because you take the black market out of it. Everything you've said. Governor, give us your take on all this. Absolutely. You know, when it's like my mother said to me, my, my mom passed away back in 1995, but. She lived through the prohibition of alcohol when they went through that nonsense way back in the 20s and, and early 30s where they prohibited alcohol. And my mom's observation was, she told me, she said, the war on drugs is identical to the prohibition of alcohol. All you're doing is making criminals rich and powerful. And that's precisely it. Clearly, some people within our government are profiting greatly from keeping drugs illegal. By, by smuggling them in, the prices are then 10 times higher than they'd normally be. I mean, let's look at tobacco and alcohol. Those two are drugs. There's no doubt about it, but for some reason they separate them from all the other ones because, number one, they're legal. Well, tobacco and alcohol causes much damage or more damage than all the, quote, illegal drugs do combined. More people die from alcohol and tobacco every year than what die from any of these other drugs. In fact, illegal drugs, medical prescription drugs, more people die from those. Overdoses of drugs you get from your doctor than die from these alleged illegal recreational drugs. And the point of the matter is, if you live in a free society, drug addiction is a medical problem. Why we have chose to make it a criminal problem, I have no idea. Why we somehow think you should take an addict and throw them in prison is beyond me. You can achieve so much more by legalizing it, taxing it, using those revenues. Then you get a hold on who the, who the addicts are, and you can attempt to cure them. You can attempt to make them good you know, uh, citizens who are productive again. And, and they won't have to be out facing buying addictive substances that are charged 10 times more than what they should cost. And that leads to other crime. If an addict has to fill his, fulfill his addiction, 
and the prices.